Sports Jack. I'm Bailey Sinclair alongside Morgan Kopitsky and Mackenzie Huck, and it is time again for Coffee and Couture. On this episode, we will be discussing some fashion from this season's New York Fashion Week that ended earlier today. This show featured looks from the Spring 2016 Ready to Wear collection. Straying from the normal over-the-top looks of runway fashion, designers aim to create looks that could be taken straight from the catwalk to the sidewalk. We will be each discussing the looks we loved, as well as some that we feel are not at all ready to wear. First, let's take a look at Bailey's picks. My favorite collection from the show was absolutely Tommy Hilfiger. I love this look from head to toe. I loved the crochet hat and the crochet bag, and everything about it was crochet. And I love the Jamaican vibe and feel and the layered necklaces, along with the bomber jacket with the floral print. And he really took you on a vacation, and it was brilliant. I loved it. I agree. I liked the collection. The only issue that I have with it is the funny hats. I actually kind of thought they felt out of place with some of the outfits. Like, the outfits were something that I would wear minus the hat. Like, I don't know, maybe that's just not my style. And also, this is something you would expect from Tommy Hilfiger. And so I think he played it a little safe, a little boring for New York Fashion Week. You know, you want to see, like, the bright and out there. And this one just was not that for me. I love this simplicity of the dress. But overall, I love um, the slip back look of it all. All I have to say about this look is that she nailed the theme of ready to wear. I would wear this dress just about anywhere. It's so, it's so gorgeous. All of the collection was spot on. And now we are going to go to Alexander Wang, who, in my opinion, was not as successful. I think that he went with a theme that was not ready to wear, unless you're talking about ready to wear on Monday of finals week, maybe? Just baggy hoodies and baggy pants that just didn't look anything like a regular outfit or like something you would want to wear. He touched on maybe some leather trends and some of the grungier fringe trends that are going on right now, but then he paired them with a baggy hoodie or a baggy pair of pants. All the models looked upset, but I think I would be upset too to be in one of these outfits. I don't know, this look for me, it just makes the model look big, which I definitely know she's not. And they all look angry. And it was his, I think, 10th anniversary. And so I know he always likes to go out with a bang. But this, for me, was a little bit too punk rock. And I just, it didn't make sense to me. It was very edgy. And I get that. But I just, I didn't like it at all. I don't know if either of you guys watch Big Brother. But um, this, like, oversized hoodie with the drawstrings pulled so tight reminded me of Audrey before she got evicted, like, with the big sunglasses and the giant hoodie. It's not flattering on anyone. You look crazy wearing it. Um, I will say I like the fringe skirt, but I feel like it's out of place with the rest of the look. He's got the casual sneakers and the casual hoodie and then this, like, nice fringe skirt. I don't know. I didn't like the fluency of it. But I think the look that really stole the show was Zach Posen. He is one of my favorite designers. He always has been. His look wasn't really as bright as some of the others, like Betsy Johnson, but he had such sharp, clean lines everywhere. It was just like a simple, understated elegance, if you will. There was such a romanticism about his looks. Like, this dress, I would wear it everywhere. Ready to wear is an understatement. I would wear it to E23. I would wear it to class. I would wear it to sleep in. I just, I love this dress so much. Uh, I only have one critique for his collection, and that was the lack of a color palette. When I think of a spring collection, I want uh, some sort of like color scheme. He went with more of the black and white and the neutrals, but that being said, with those colors, he knocked it out of the park. Everything was so sleek and elegant. It looked classy and professional, which are looks that I love to see, and looks that a lot of people would wear, which goes well for this ready to, uh, ready to wear collection, is um, maybe a more business look that people are looking for, and he did a great job with that. Yeah, I agree. I actually, I love the black and white color palette. Um, unfortunately, I just don't, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of this particular outfit. I'm not a big fan of the cap sleeves, but um, I love cleanliness of it and the clean straight lines and I think he pulled it off. I have to say Zach Posen really caught my attention but another designer that caught my attention was Hood by Air. Um, not for the same reasons, in fact not for good reasons at all. Um, it looked like he started out with some really good designs and then he put them in a paper shredder and just let his models wear it after they had been put in the paper shredder. 
Um, I didn't care for the random pieces of fabric like hanging off of the models. And another issue that I had was their makeup. It was like before it had been contoured, so they just had like stripes of stuff on their face, and it almost gave them like a dirty appearance, like they needed to wash their face, and I don't feel like that's appropriate for like New York Fashion Week. I, I completely agree. I, it almost looks Renaissance-y to me, like a Renaissance vibe. The I love the shoes, I have to say. I love the shoes. Mm -hmm. The makeup, I agree. The contour thing, it was it was weird. It was, I this just whole outfit is just wrong. I I just I don't understand it. Is that I don't know if that's a scrunchie in her hair, but I just like don't I don't get it. So um, yeah, not for me. Yeah, it's not for me either. I think that it's upsetting because he had some good trends. He right here we see that he was on with the overall trends. Overalls have been huge lately. He's got the leather going on. But then the execution is so poor, and we've seen that with other ones of his outfits. He has some nice outfits that include uh, soft material and flowing material, but they just look like they have been destroyed somehow. So I'd have to say that it's disappointing because he was on with trends, but then executed them so poorly. Well, like all good things, New York Fashion Week and this episode of Coffee and Couture have come to an end. I'm Mackenzie Huff, and on behalf of Bailey and Morgan, Thanks for tuning in to our coverage of the show. If you want to see more fashion-related content like this, MSA and Delta Gamma will have Project Runway's Tim Gunn speak at Desi Auditorium on September 24th. Tickets are free for MU students, so be sure to check it out. Let's go back to James and Colleen.